thing, just in case I have not been able to talk to many of you guys. Um, so as you know, on December 31st, I did go to the doctor and I did test positive for COVID. So um, I was first exposed on December 20th, started having some low back pain on uh, December 25th or 6th, remembering I was working out this whole time, you guys, because I did not know. So my husband got tested on December 29th and he came out positive. And so I immediately got a test. And in the meantime, my daughter, her husband and my son got tested on the 29th as well, but I couldn't schedule my test until the 31st. We all tested positive. My daughter and my son had absolutely no symptoms. They had a headache um, for maybe a half a day. That was it. Just maybe a little bit of a headache uh, where my husband and myself, uh, so you got to remember, I was working out really hard during my throes of COVID, not knowing I had COVID. So I think I drove it in uh, just a little bit more. So December 31st, when I was teaching the live class, I was like, oh, my back, my back, my back. Well, so then the next day and yesterday was by far my worst. Um, of course, I'm staying hydrated. I'm resting, wearing my Apple Watch. I'm constantly checking my heart rate. My normal resting heart rate, you guys, is like 55 because I'm so in shape. So my resting heart rate, just sitting here talking to you guys, would be 53 to 55. And so I'm taking it right now, and I'm 74. My resting heart rate right now is 74. So that means I am totally in the throes of this shit still. Um, I'm not going to complain. So my symptoms are back pain. It goes from a scale of 1 to 10. 10 means it's really, really bad. Usually it's staying at a 5. Of course, taking acetaminophen. Um, I will take ibuprofen. There's some conflicting research on ibuprofen and COVID, so I'm really just trying to stay with the acetaminophen, um, staying hydrated. I have lost weight. I'm 124 pounds now. No, that's not good. Yes, I'm eating. I'm ensuring I get my protein in. But when you're sick, guys, you know you just don't have an appetite. You make yourself get your protein. You make yourself stay hydrated, and you just do the best that you can. Um so I do think I'm in the throes of it. I have the body chills, the fever really maybe 99. So it's really not that. My main symptoms are back pain and chest pressure. But you gotta remember my back pain, here's my chest pressure, like it's right here. And then my back pain is right here. So I think it's all correlating. I do not think it's my heart. I just think the back pain is pulling and giving a little bit of chest pressure. No, I have not lost my taste. I have not lost my smell. My son lost his smell, but he has not lost his taste. Um, so as for Bob, whoo, he tends to go uh, into his lungs more. He always has. He gets bronchitis really easy. Um, so yeah, he's been on steroids since the day he found out he had it. He uh, is getting the 101 fevers. Um, of course, he's doing the same protocol um, as I am, hydration, acetaminophen, doing everything like that. But his, he's got that cough, and I'm starting to hear it come into here a little bit. Uh, it, it concerns me. I'm absolutely keeping an eye on him. Um, we have a pulse ox oximeter. I'm always checking his oxygen saturation. I'm always, always checking his resting heart rate as well. Um, I'm checking his heart rate when he's walking or when he's doing anything to make sure it's not um, extremely high and goes up because shortness of breath. When, I mean, I know everything. My sisters are nurses. They're on, they're on me. They're calling me like all the time. Yeah, we are. Uh, Shalene, we are absolutely moving. Um, yeah, we're doing that all the time. We're going for little walks. Also, we know to sleep on our side or sleep on our stomach. Do not sleep on your back because that does add extra pressure. 
um, on your lungs. Again, as I stated, my two sisters are nurses. My one sister works in the COVID unit. So she absolutely tells me everything and checks up on me um, all the time. So that is the update as of today. As you all know, I told you my first exposure would just, was just December 20th. I think I really started displaying very first symptoms December 25, 6, and uh, December 31, January 1, yesterday was the second. So January 2nd, yesterday was by far the worst day for me. I'm going to say I'm probably in the middle of it right now, uh, making sure I get up, I move every couple hours, I'm just not laying down. You do have to keep your circulation going. Um, even when you're sick, you want to keep moving, you want to stay hydrated, you want to stay all of that. So I know, but, oh, so Kelly's saying she got about three weeks ago. It wasn't bad for me. felt like a cold. Yeah, they just say everyone's different. So um, I'm just taking the next two weeks to rest. If I find my resting heart rate goes back down for like a couple days in a row back into the 50s, uh, 60s and it stays there. I know I'm kind of over the infection and I'm going to get back to working out. Ah, just sitting here doing nothing just kills me, you guys. <laughs> okay, so I just want to give you an update on that, okay? Um, it's really just day to day and I think I'm honestly in the heat of it right now and hopefully next week I'll start climbing out of it. Okay, so I want to give you guys a little heads up. And my um, Fit Over 40 Body, Mind, and Spirit group, I am starting to put out a Monday weekly challenge, a Tuesday food of the week, they're all, you know, healthy, Tuesday food of the week, Wednesday recipe with the food of the week, Thursday um, tips, and Friday questions. So be sure, women, that you are joined to the Fit Over 40 Body, Mind, Spirit private women's community. Now, until I get back into exercising, I am going to be putting out weekly challenges. I'm going to be putting out a beginner seven-day workout challenge and an intermediate um, workout challenge for you guys each week until I get back. So what you can do is you can do this challenge for the, the seventh day is always your rest day. Um, you can absolutely do this challenge. You guys, you got to remember at this point, I think I have over 650 <laughs> workouts. I have more than two years of workouts. So if you did my workouts, you would never repeat one of my workouts for two whole years. So I'm going to be putting a beginner seven day workout challenge, and then I'll be putting um, an intermediate workout challenge. So you guys can pick and choose that. You guys can do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday workout with me from the challenge and pick somebody else on a Tuesday, Thursday. So um, I already got two challenges out for next week, but I think I will add one more challenge. Now, I know I should be resting, but you guys, like, I've, I've got to keep my brain going. So I'm not a just sit there and rest and watch TV type person. So for me to get these challenges out for you guys, it keeps my mind active and it keeps my mind busy. So just because I can't move and I can't exercise, does I can't lay in bed. It, it hurts. I'm just not a lay in bed person. Even when I have the flu, I'd rather be up and um, out a, a little bit. So just want to let you know, um, hopefully within the next two weeks, with me resting, listening to my heart rate, I'll be back. The first week I get back, though, it's going to be a, um, it's going to be something like get back into fitness, lightweight sculpt week. Um, the first week will be like a light week. And then we should get back into, oh, yeah. And I have been watching a lot of Netflix, you guys. Um, what have I been watching? The Shooter. Um, I have Amazon Prime, Hulu. I've been watching a lot of it. So, I mean, you just get bored. I'm finishing my guided meditation framework certification as well. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. But I really wanted to give you guys and let you know um, in – as we hit into the new year, 
um, on the Fit Over 40 Body, Mind, Spirit group. That's what I'm doing for the entire year. Monday, weekly challenge. Tuesday, food of the week. Wednesday, recipe. Thursday, a, an important topic, question. And Friday, just a fun question. So we get to know each other more. Um, I'm not a big chess person. Not a big board game person. Um at all. I'm more, I'm just more brainy. I love to read. I love to learn. I love to create. Um, that's just, that's just more me. Um, oh, Susan just did one of my 30 day PHA workouts. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So you guys are going to absolutely love these seven day challenges that I'm coming out with and miss, uh, yeah. So anyway, there are other group fitness instructors on our fit over 40 group site. And I think, you know, I'm not going to call it out. I think you know who you are and I'm trying to get, uh, any group fitness instructors that are on the fit over 40 site. If you would like to do a workout, um, all you got to do is contact me and I can put the workout on my YouTube page and I could put it also in the fit over 40 group as well if you any group fitness instructors would like to teach a class um in the next two weeks don't you think that would be great you guys because there are so many seasoned veteran group fitness instructors that are on our fit over 40 site and they are absolutely phenomenal in what they do in their teaching and that would be absolutely amazing if they wanted to bring it to the group so I know who some of you are. So only if you wanted to, you can reach out to me. I can help set you up and we can start that only if you want to. So um, that's about it. So I'm going to end with um, COVID is real. <laughs> I never not thought it wasn't real. I always knew it was real. I had a loved one die from it. Um, I am just happy at the moment to report that with rest, acetaminophen, hydration, making sure I get my protein and making sure I'm eating um, and just really, oh, I'm taking 4,000 units of vitamin D. I'm taking zinc, elderberry and three to 4,000 units of vitamin C. And I'm also doing that as well for my immune system. So it's very real. Remember to sleep on your side or sleep on your stomach. Don't sleep on your back because that puts pressure on the lungs. Um, buy a pulse oximeter. Make sure your oxygen saturation is good. Uh, if you have a heart rate monitor, monitor your heart rate, your resting heart rate. Good thing I knew my resting heart rate pre-COVID. So as I'm in the throes of COVID, I know a higher resting heart rate for me means I am absolutely in the throes and fighting the infection. So um, there are just some signs and things and just listen to your body and rest is the biggest thing I can tell you guys. I am, I want to work out. I want to work out. I know I want to work out. I can't believe I was working out in the throes of COVID, you guys. I was pushing pretty hard too. You guys were working out with me and I was pushing hard. I love chamomile tea, so I'm absolutely drinking lots of chamomile tea. Well, let me show you something that my son got me for Christmas. He is such a thoughtful little thing. Oh, and I tell you, I got a MacBook Pro. This is just like a, um, this is, okay, so these are little instant things right here and then you light them and you put it on there and the smoke goes through this thing and i put it on my desk so did i oh and i'm gonna show you one other thing um my daughter who knows i'm very eclectic -y, got me this handmade perfume from a little boutique it's essential oils and you just rub it on <sighs> smells really good so uh yeah, that was really, really, really sweet. Yes, and I just thank you all for thinking of me. And about every couple days, I will absolutely keep everybody updated. Um, but fingers crossed, I am 
in the tail end, not tail end, right now I, I feel I'm in the middle, but this next week coming up that I am in the, um, starting to come out of it in the tail end of things. I'll show you one more thing. Yeah. These are all my flowers. I'm a big flower person. And uh, not flower, plant, plant person. So that is, those are my plants. I have tons more. Uh, what me and my daughter do is when we see plants that, house plants that are on their way out at a nursery or a grocery store and they're on the way out, uh, we save them and we rescue them and we try to grow them and we try to get them healthy. That's just something we've always kind of um, done. So yeah, all right guys, um, I'm gonna get one more seven day challenge out for you. So then that means you're gonna have three challenges to choose from this week. Mix and match, you can do one of mine one day and you can pick another person, try something new, um, whatever you wanna do and oh gina your daughter's obsessed with plants yeah my daughter is really really obsessed with plants too but you know you guys this younger generation like my kids are in their early 20s and they got the covid nothing headache uh lost his sense of smell my daughter had a headache next day they woke up they're fine um so I think the younger generation, it's not affecting um, as deeply as it is us. So anyway, everyone, be sure to join the women's group because starting Monday, uh, my little weekly challenges and all that are starting. And I'm giving, oh yeah, and that's the only other thing I want to tell you. I am the most active on the Fit Over 40 Body, Mind, Spirit private women's community. And that's where I am putting all these seven day challenges for you guys. I'm not putting it on YouTube public, not putting it on my Angie Fitness TV, not putting it on my Angie Balgerman. I'm putting it all in one place, Fit Over 40 Body, Mind, Spirit group. So that's where all my challenges are gonna be. Um, my eating PDFs, you know, how to eat correctly, how to eat clean, all of that. So, um, Oh, Becky, you got me at saving. Yeah, yeah, we do. My daughter, she'll see a plant and it's just like at a grocery store and it's on death's door. And so we buy it, it we buy it. And I spend usually $40 on buying these beautiful pots, getting the best soil, putting it in there and letting it flourish. We have grow lights and um, everything like that. We rehabilitate them and then we keep them forever. <laughs> And you know I rescue animals too, right? So, um, oh, here's another story I didn't tell you. My son Robert has decided that Bella, my little dog Bella, let me let me get Bella for you. You guys stay right here. I'm gonna get Bella. Come here, Bella. No, come here. All right. So here's Miss Belly, and many of you know Miss Bella. So. My son, who had taken her off to college, has now decided <clears throat> he doesn't want to keep her because she's in love with my husband. And she, Miss Bella, prefers my husband. And wherever my husband is, she's a little shadow. And so, okay, you can go. And so my son has decided he wants a dog that just loves him only. So he's gonna go rescue a dog. And it's going to be his forever dog. And he said, Dad, that's your dog. She just loves you. She shadows you. She wants to do everything with you. She sleeps with you. She sits with you. So she's your dog. So I have Miss Bella back. And you know, she's a rescue. She was found on the Los Angeles freeway. She was four pounds, 12 ounces. We literally saved her from the on-ramp and took her to the vet and bought her an airplane ticket home to Tennessee. And she has been our little dog ever since. So you will absolutely now be seeing Bella in most of my workouts because she loves to run around as I am working out because you know ball is her favorite thing in the world. And even in the middle of one of my workouts, she will come to get me and bug me to play ball. 
So, <laughs> so that's the only other news is Miss Bella is back, guys. Um, okay, I think I went through. Anybody have any questions for me? I'm so glad, you guys. This is such a beautiful community. Right now I'm looking um, and seeing if you have any questions for me. Just really wanted to update all the YouTube people because you're not going to be seeing my live workouts for, fingers crossed, guys, for two weeks. Um, so I hope to get back by the third week of January is when I hope to be doing the lives again. But you got to remember the first week um, that we're back, uh, I'll just be doing a lightweight sculpt. You guys are going to continue your heavy weights. You're going to be continuing all of that. But the first week back when I'm doing lightweight, you can add your medium or you can add your heavy weight. You're going to just make it work for you, right? But they always say no matter if you've had surgery, coming back from the virus, bacterial infection, no matter what it is, your first week you take it easy and you go light. So I will absolutely be following those uh, parameters myself. So you guys, I won't take any more of your day. Just wanted to give you an update. You can tell my throat's a little, I'm not mucusy. <clears throat> my th I do have a little bit of a sore throat. But I've had strep throat before and the flu. Okay, and let me just tell you this. I have had full-blown flu before, like the flu. And I, I don't like to compare, but like I've had regular flu and I've had COVID. And the regular flu almost put me in the hospital. Way more than the COVID. Uh, just letting you all know, the COVID is more lingering, tired, uh, achy, painy, like that, where when I had the flu, it was throwing up, dehydration, I'm not going to make it through this, I am beyond miserable, get me to a freaking hospital, get an IV in me, settle my stomach, and keep me at the hospital type deal. And the COVID is like, I just want to sleep, um, give me some acetaminophen, I'm tired, uh, like that. So I can only tell you from me, the flu was like a thousand times more amped in symptoms than the COVID. But you got to remember, I'm still going through the COVID. So I'm not going to speak too quick because um, hopefully I don't get any more symptoms. Um, yeah, it's unknown of this COVID that's scary to me. So, you know, I mean, I understand it's very, 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 very real. So I'm taking it very much easy. So um, anyway, guys, that is it. I'll probably update you today, Sunday. I'll update you all with a live on Wednesday. How about that? I'll give like two updates a week. So I'll update everybody on Wednesday. Yes, keep praying for me. And thank you, everyone. Have a beautiful, beautiful week ahead. And I will talk to you all later.